gang leader frees kidnapped nun to avoid problems with the Pope CY. Before starting with the information, I invite you to support us with a like, that way you help us to inform. The leader of a gang in the Democratic Republic of Congo freed a Catholic nun a few hours after kidnapping her, claiming that he had taken the decision to avoid problems with the Pope. This was confirmed on May 10 by the Archbishop of Lubumbashi, manager Fulgens Mutiba Mugalu, who on that day visited and expressed his solidarity with Sister Lucy Mwasenga, a member of the Congregation of the Immaculate Heart of the Virgin Mary of Congolo. According to the prelate, the purpose of the visit was to express his closeness to a daughter of the church. Sister Lucy was kidnapped on April 26 in Lubumbashi, a town in the southeast of the Democratic Republic of Congo, and released a few hours later on the orders of the gang leader. The Catholic nun was leaving the University of Lubumbashi, where she was studying a medical course, when her kidnappers ambushed her at around 6 p.m. local time. She was forced into a cab, which was driven by a man and had another passenger in the back seat. A few minutes later, she noticed that the driver had changed his route. Some time later, the sister began to feel dizzy, as she would have been intoxicated. Marie Clementine Chungu, Secretary General of the Congregation of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in Congolo. When she woke up, she found herself in a large house with two green doors. There she saw many young men tied up. Sister Lucy told Sister Marie that when one of the kidnappers was taking her out of the vehicle, she saw a lady with Asian features, probably Chinese. It is said that the alleged gang leader, upon seeing the nun, became very angry with his henchmen, stating that he did not want to have any trouble with the Pope, with the Archbishop and especially with the Catholic Church. I don't want to bring the curse to my business, he rebuked the other criminal and demanded that he return the nun. On the gang leader's orders, Sister Lucy was driven back, in another car with tinted windows, to a gas station at the entrance to the city of Lubumbashi, from Lakasi. A cab driver who recognized her by her religious garb took her to her community. Archbishop Mutiba condemned the insecurity in DR Congo's second largest city, noting that people under his pastoral care live like slaves in their own homes. I would like to condemn the widespread insecurity in the city of Lubumbashi. It is inadmissible, because we have become slaves at home in our own city," he commented. He also described the abduction of Sister Lucy as diabolical. On behalf of the people of Lubumbashi, I would like to condemn this diabolical act of abduction of a nun and student. We would like to put an immediate end to this kind of situation," he said. The prelate called on the authorities to work hard so that we can put an end to this insecurity that makes us foreigners in our own city. I would also like to ask the entire population to know that only with solidarity can we put an end to this insecurity that we deplore," the prelate concluded.